Cholesterol Guidelines On May of 2001, the National Cholesterol Education Program, NCEP, issued new and major clinical cholesterol guidelines, hoping to manage and prevent the increase of high cholesterol in adults. This was the last update of NCEP 10 years ago. In line with the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, they developed new cholesterol guidelines through research and study. The significant changes in the guidelines are the more insistent cholesterol-reducing treatment and identification of those who are at high risk of heart disease, the use of lipoprotein profile as a first step for treating high cholesterol level, a new stage at which low high-density lipoprotein, low HDL, becomes a major high-risk factor for heart diseases, brand new set of therapeutic lifestyle changes with more power to improve cholesterol levels, to focus more on the cluster of risk. Factors in heart disease called the metabolic syndrome and to boost the awareness of treatments of high triglycerides. With these new cholesterol guidelines, they expected a considerable amount of increase in the number of Americans treated for high cholesterol. These include the raise in the number of dietary treatments from the estimated amount of 52 million to 65 million. It will also increase the number of prescription for cholesterol reducing drugs from 13 million to 36 million. The guidelines state that diabetes also poses a great risk in having heart disease. It also suggests that persons with diabetes be treated as intensively as patients with heart disease, including their lifestyles changes in medication. The new cholesterol guidelines included a tool that will predict a person's chance of having heart disease within the span of 10 years. The said tool will calculate the risk of men and women separately. The tool was highly recommended by the ATP, adult treatment patients, for people who have two or more risk factors of heart disease. The other changes in the new cholesterol guidelines are, asterisk more aggressive treatment of high cholesterol for those who have diabetes, in addition to the high short-term risk of having a coronary episode, type 2 diabetes is also in a high risk of dying of a heart attack. Asterisk lipoprotein profile is the first step in testing for high cholesterol. It is the measurement of the levels of LDL, HDL, total cholesterol and triglycerides, and other fatty substance in the bloodstream. Asterisk a new phase wherein low HDL is a main risk factor for heart disease. Asterisk strengthening the use of physical activity, nutrition and weight control in the treatment of high blood cholesterol level. Asterisk the identification of a metabolic syndrome of the risk factors relating to insulin resistance. Asterisk more aggressive treatment for high triglycerides. Asterisk advising to stop using hormone replacement therapy HRT as a substitute to cholesterol reducing medicines. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.